talking battle toads we were teased the game but we didn't see that glorious gameplay how does it feel showing that off now oh yeah it's, it's amazing like we know we were a bit of a tease last year but hopefully people feel it was worth the wait um, it's so incredible to be seeing people playing the game I mean I didn't even know that we were making a battle toads game I work at rare and I had to be in the briefing before I saw it so I was even more surprised I was messaging Craig straight away you no know, just like AJ says it's so awesome to be showing it for the first time like we really wanted to capture the essence of the original games, but bringing it into the modern day and like modern twists and just playing a bit more on Battletoads and what it's about. It's, an, it's a classic arcade brawler, side-scrolling, but it's always got these genre mashups that you just never know what to expect next. Well, and also I think it was just a cult classic. There's a lot of fans out there, so how did your team deal with making the fans happy while making it more up-to-date? One of the big things we have as an advantage is the fact that we are fans. Like yeah. this, this is literally a dream game for us to be making. So when we're looking at this, we're making sure that as well as taking our own influences, that we're keeping that Battle Toads, that core Battle Toads experience in mind. Um, and because we're making and playing the game ourselves and viewing it through the eyes of the fans being them, like it's just yeah, it's an incredible experience for us to just wrap it all together. For real, he says it much better than I could. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as fans, I have to ask, which Toad? would you most identify with? Well, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to be Pimple because he's... I'm not saying he's a fat toad, but he's the closest to the fat toad. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll take Pimple. No, he's, brute. he's just buffer than the rest, yeah. isn't it? No. I like it, Brute. Yeah. Totally. I would have to say Rash. He's just kind of like, he's the wild card of the Brute. You never know what to expect with him, especially in some of the cutscenes that's come up with, definitely. All right, so in terms of the key aspects from the original that you're bringing into this one, what are those? So that whole side-scrolling brawler feel is still there, and this is really a key thing for us. And then another thing that brings in the passion that we've always had is that genre mashup feel to it. You know, when you played the original Battle Toads from level to level, you didn't know what you were getting until you were in there, and that has been kind of key for us to keep as a core part of the experience. Yeah, I think that's a really cool thing with it too. Of like from a gameplay perspective, like you never know what to expect next, and you're never going to just have a brawler. It could then potentially turn into turbo tunnel. It could turn into a puzzle section. And I think that's what probably brings people to it. That makes you want to play it longer and longer because you just never know what to expect. Now, one of the main differences that I see is the art style of the game. How is it reviving that into this new art style? I mean, I get to just sit in the chair and look at all the magic happen, to be honest. Uh, we've got this incredible team of artists and animators, um, and a big focus for us was creating this pipeline, so it was very easy for us to take these, these new interpretations of the designs and make the animations and get those into game quickly and make sure that we're just making kind of the animation feel and the game feel work together. Like, it's a beautiful game, but hopefully people understand it plays just as well, and they're a partnership more than anything. For me, it's like, I just love the absolute bright and vibrant colours that have used on that and some of the stuff that we've shown in the trailer is very bright and vibrant and in some of the other levels that we've created, they really show how well the Dalala team have, like, can make really grungy, really gritty environments. Especially as you're playing Turbo Tunnel through some of the checkpoints, just as you open out into some of these amazing vistas, you really just see the art team just singing. And now one of the things that I, I know I'm going to love is that it is available on Xbox Game Pass. What does that mean for your team? Um, for us, what was so awesome is that like everyone that's subscribing to Game Pass gets to experience it first in, day in, day out. And it's just, like Game Pass as a whole is just such an amazing offering for players, especially today, it's just being announced Game Pass Ultimate, and it's such an amazing price too. It's just such a fantastic time to be a gamer. Okay, well I'm excited to get my hands on it when that happens, and I would say I'm more of a rash. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait. Thank you very much, we appreciate it.